Hello everyone, today we want to be talking about preschool prep and four ways on how to get started. Here today we have Lucas. Lucas, you want to say hi? Hi. He is two years old and today we're going to share with him with you all the activities that we have on the shelf for today. We try to rotate these things out to get him started with preschool. So, let's get started to show you what we have today and then we're going to show you the four things that you want to start off with for preschool. Lucas, you want to get started? You want to go grab an activity? Bring it here. Go ahead. Let's see what you're gonna pick today to start off with. You wanna pick this one? Okay. So this first activity, Lucas is taking these miniature pine cones with the tweezers and putting them in this miniature apple ice cube tray. And this is great for fine motor skills, for hand-eye coordination, and also, is teaching one-to-one -one correspondence as the child is placing one little pine cone into each of the spaces there. Good job, Luke, keep going. So when the child is done, he puts his tray right back onto the shelf because you want to teach order. And they grab another activity and they bring it right here to the table. This is great training to teach some order and organization. And he's picked this puzzle here. He's learning colors. All right, Lucas, sit down. And let's take the puzzle pieces out. So he takes all the puzzle pieces out and I call out the colors. Purple, green, So this is popsicle sticks and he's going to open it and take the popsicle sticks out. And this is a great fine motor skills activity. I've taken a recycled container and I have made some holes on the cover with scissors, with miniature scissors. And they're going in different directions to, to encourage wrist rotation. And then the child is going to get started. So this next activity, I took these um, teddy bears and I colored them in with crayons and I laminated them. And now he's going to be sorting them and telling me the color. Ready? What color is this? Blue. Blue. Can you find the blue teddy bear? Good job. What color is this? Purple. Purple. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow. Good job. What color is this? Orange. Orange. What color is this? Green. Green. And last one. What color was that? Red. Red. Give me five. You did a good job. Let's put the teddy bears back on the tray and we're going to put it right back on the shelf. Good job, Lou. You're on a roll. I think you're almost done. I think you're all done with your activities. Now, we're going to do our book. We're going to read our book now. Right, and now we're going to be doing our read aloud. And we usually pick like one or two books to read to him every day. Today we're reading Feet Are Not For Kicking. And this is by Elizabeth Verdick. I'll link it in the description box. They have a whole series on things that kids battle with. And it's just so great for toddlers so that they can... Um, learn all those skills that they need to learn. Ready, look? Look at those feet. Aren't they sweet? 
Ten little toes all in a row. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. What are feet for? They're for walking. They're for standing. They're for running and jumping. For climbing and pumping. Feet are not for kicking people. Ouch, kicking a hurt. Ow, ow, ow. So we are done with all our shelf activities and these miniature sessions that we do with our two-year-old. Takes about 15 minutes a day and he absolutely loves it. And if you want to see a full week's worth of his activities, I will film it if I see a lot of interest. So let me know in my comments uh, over on my community tab. So now for the bonus of the video, I recorded a few days ago four crucial things that you need to start with your toddlers to get them ready for preschool. And if you do these four things, you're going to really give them an advantage in preschool. Uh, I filmed that a few days ago, so you need to just pop up your volume a little bit because I recorded it on my laptop. Um, so go ahead and look at that now and I'll see you at the end always have flashcards that's the first thing so I start with like three to four minute flashcard sessions and I start off with these five set of flashcards I start off with letter sounds because once the children know their letter sounds and they blend those sounds they can begin to read and I made a whole video about that and how I taught all my kids to read by the age of three using this system and I'll link it below in the description box the next set I use is numbers so i teach numbers one through ten and if your kids learn that you can go on to the next numbers like one through twenty i do colors body parts and i do shapes a lot of these i've had for so many years with my kids but some of them you can print on my blog for free and i'll link it below in the description box so what I do is I sit down at the table with my toddler and I flash through the cards calling out the different names of things. So I do it very fast. It only takes about three to four minutes to go through the five sets. And sometimes the child just starts repeating after me. They want to learn the information. It's just a great way to learn information. The next thing that you want to do for preschoolers is puzzles. Let's talk about puzzles. Why are puzzles so important? Well, puzzles teach matching and matching is a crucial skill for preschool. Matching is going to teach visual discrimination and visual discrimination is the ability to be able to tell the differences and similarities of objects, people, things, and that same visual discrimination they're going to be able to need for reading and for math. So this is so important. Start off with puzzles. I start off with these three piece puzzles and they are not puzzles. So the child can grab them with their hands and match. Um, and then once I do these three piece puzzles, I move on to more pieces like this one here. Oh. And then I move on to animals and so many different puzzles. So what I do is I have the child lay out all the pieces and then work on the puzzle one by one. We will call out the names so that the child can work on their vocabulary skills and learning the different names of these things. A lot of the puzzles that I use are teaching the child the same concepts that the flashcards were teaching in a more interactive way. So another resource that I use because my children just go through these puzzles so fast is the toddler learning folder. I've used it with all of my kids and it's these matching activities. They're just like puzzles, but it gives you more practice with matching and with visual discrimination. I'm going to link it below in the description box. So now let's move on to pre-writing skills. Before you start teaching children how to write, you wanna do pre-writing activities. I like starting off with coloring. Coloring is a very basic activity to start off with, but it's very good for children. It's going to strengthen the hands for writing. It's going to help children start learning how to hold writing utensils. It's going to be an excellent exercise to get started with. I like using triangular crayons because they promote the tripod grip, but you can use any crayons that you have at hand. And just have children color, um, try to see if they can focus coloring within the lines, but if not, just be absolutely happy that they are actually just coloring the picture. Another thing that I love teaching children for pre-writing is circles. Circles, circles, circles. Circles are going to help them with fine motor skills. It's going to get them ready for writing. Um, you want to start off with counterclockwise circles. Get a piece of paper and guide their hand and show them how to make the circles. 
Um, a lot of letters start with these motions, letters such as A, O, C, G, and Q. And this is also the basis for drawing. So drawing circles is going to be a very good pre-writing activity. And lastly, what I have for you is reading. As basic as it sounds, reading is actually one of the best ways to get your children ahead in education. Make it a goal to read one book a day to your children. And if you do that, you will have read a thousand books by the time they are entering kindergarten. Reading to children will increase their vocabulary, their phonological awareness, which is crucial for reading, uh, their vocabulary, uh, their knowledge about whatever it is that you're reading, and it's also going to help them with their attention span, with listening skills. Um, and I think best of all, it's going to have that bonding experience. Bonding is so important. I talk about it over and over on my videos. Because when you have a strong bond with the child, you, have, you are of greater influence. And you're able to get the child to cooperate and listen more. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video on how to get your toddlers ready for preschool. Um, it's really easy. You just do those four steps to get them started. And you can do some hands-on activities as we have here on the shelf. Um, the activities and all the things that I mentioned in the video only take us about 15 minutes. He begs for preschool time every day. Um, he calls it, let's play school. He loves it. So, and then he's off to play and doing all, everything that toddlers do on a daily basis. So, it's really fun, entertaining, and they're learning so, so much. In the description box, I'm going to link below the toddler learning folder. I'm also going to link below a preschool course that I put together where I teach you how to teach all of the basics for preschool from writing, reading, and math. I'm also going to link below a series of workbooks that you can start with your toddlers, which only requires circling, drawing lines, and coloring. And with those three things that they can do, they can do the entire workbook. I'm going to link it below because it's a wonderful um, beginner math workbook for two to four year olds. I'm going to link it below. Thank you so much for watching. Look, you want to say bye? Bye. bye.